and tile.net. Hi there, this is Antile. Today we have the new gaming laptop of Asus ROG Strix GL553VD. Out of the box of Amazon, we have this box. I bought it on Amazon for about 750 euros. I bought the one that ha doesn't have Windows installed on it, so it is more cheaper than the Windows. In the box, inside, we have a DVD with the application to install the drivers and the charger and the warranty and the so in this video i'm going to do a little bit of review about this laptop and also how to install windows on it because as i told you before this version comes without windows so it's cheaper than the other versions so let's start with some of the basic reviews about this laptop this laptop weight is 2.5 kilograms and the battery is a non removable battery. The sides of the Strix are lined with ports for expansion and networking. On the left, you'll find an Ethernet jack HDMI output, two USB 3.0 ports, a USB Type C port, and a headphone jack. The right side is parser with a sole USB 2.0 port, a DVD drive, and a Kissington log slot. An SD card reader is located beneath the palm rest. My only complaint is that I wish the keys would pop up faster and with more force, which could be especially useful for gaming. The bad thing about this laptop is it gets very hot sometimes and the battery life is also short. Apart from that, it's a pretty good gaming laptop if you want something, a decent gaming laptop. Asus ROG Strix GL553 VD is the most affordable game laptop that the company currently sells and it comes with a comfortable keyboard and a vivid display and an NVIDIA GTX 1050 GPU with 1000GB of hard disk storage which is enough for storing. Ok, let's plug in the laptop and power it on. If the keyboard looks more colorful than you used to, it's because this Strix is one of Asus first gaming laptops to boost RGB backlight. You can customize the lighting in the Rock Aura Core App which lets you assign different colors to 4 different zones. As I told you, this is the FreeDOS operating system. As we power it, it's going to take us to that. I'm going to show you a little bit around how it looks like. As you can see, FreeDOS is very simple operating system. It's a complete free compatible operating system that you can use to play classic DOS games, run legacy business software, or develop embedded systems. Any program that works on MS-DOS should also run on Freedom. As you see, this operating system is very different than the Windows one. Now I'm selecting a keyboard layout for it and also I'm going to connect to the Wi-Fi and some of that settings. It's actually a very simple operating system. Now to install Windows on the Strix, I'm going to power off the computer and insert my USB flash of 8GB with Windows 10 downloaded on it. Remember it has to be at least 8GB, you can download Windows on Microsoft website. setting the USB we will have to power on the computer and then press the S2 key to go to the BIOS utility.
Now that we are in the BIOS utility, we have to go down and click where it says boot menu. From there, click on the boot from USB flash drive, the second option. It should now start booting from the USB flash drive. Now, we have to follow the Windows installation settings. Select your language to install Windows, your country, time and currency, format and your keyboard or input method language. Next is going to ask for product key, like I don't have it, just click down I don't have a product key. Next, select the operating system you want to install. I'm going to install Windows 10 Pro, but you can install whatever you like. Now click on custom install. Next, we are going to select where to store Windows. For this, you will need to wipe the disk first and then install Windows. I have a link on the description that explains how to, do, how to do that. When you finish with that, just click next and the installation should start. And well, it's now all done. You have just to wait for it to finish installing. This installation should not take more than 30 minutes but depends on how fast is the computer. Okay, thank you for watching. This is Antal, please comment.